Good evening. Thanks for joining us. A uh, Twin Cities moped driver feels lucky to be alive after a car slammed into her last month. Watch this. That is Lakeisha Navicki waiting to turn left on Lindell Avenue near 25th Street in South Minneapolis. A car rear ends her, sending her flying into the air. Police say that the car's driver told them that she was momentarily distracted. New tonight, WCCO's Jeff Wagner catches up with the moped driver who shares advice for people behind the wheel. Oh, I just remember, you know, there's quite a bit of traffic. And then I get into the uh, left lane heading south. And then next thing I know, I woke up in a pool of my own blood. She lost her teeth. Her face had road rash. Her body was sore. But Lakeisha Navicki knows it could have been much worse. Literally, that was going, that was what was going through my head, is that I'm going to die. Um, then I was able to kind of process, you know, I, I've been hit, but I'm not broken. And lucky for her, it was all caught on tape. You know, I'm so keyed into things happening at this intersection. I mean, neighbor Jim Fiala has surveillance cameras surrounding his home. They show the driver of the black car heading south on Lindale, then colliding with Navicki. And in about two more minutes, the ambulance and the and the fire rescue shows up. In the crash report, the car driver told police she was distracted, and that when she looked up, she couldn't stop in time. That information did not surprise Navicki. Things are constantly moving and adjusting on the road, and so it's a responsibility for everybody out there to be aware and be cautious. Her moped was destroyed, but she plans to buy a new one. However, this time, she'll make an additional purchase. Um, would a helmet have prevented my injuries? We'll never know, um, but it will definitely give me a peace of mind um, riding again with the helmet on. Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News. It's unknown if the driver will face charges. No, Vicki says that both of them have insurance, but she's seeking help from an attorney with hopes of making up the money that she's lost from not being able to work. 